Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to turn on Bluetooth on a Windows 10 PC. In most situations, you can just come down here to the system tray down near the clock and you'll often just see a Bluetooth icon that you can click on to add a Bluetooth device. But in some situations, you will not see it there. And so the first thing you want to do is make sure that the computer you're using does have Bluetooth supported because not all Windows 10 computers have Bluetooth by default. To check this, you'll just come down to the Windows Start menu and then just type in Device Manager and then just click on and open up the Device Manager here. Now this is a list of all the devices in your Windows computer and it is in alphabetical order. So you can see right here that Bluetooth is not listed. In your situation, if you do not see Bluetooth listed here, it means that your Windows computer does not have Bluetooth by default. Now to solve that, it's very simple. You just need to buy a Bluetooth dongle or Bluetooth adapter, which looks like this. It just plugs into a USB port on your PC. You can see that they don't cost very much. And so I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description to where you can pick one of these up. But if you do have Bluetooth already listed here, you should be good to go. If not, you'll need to go ahead and plug in your Bluetooth adapter. Now I went ahead and plugged in my Bluetooth adapter. So you can now see that Bluetooth is now listed here in the device manager. And so the next thing we want to do is close this and then come back down here to the Windows Start menu and type in Bluetooth and then just select the top option, Bluetooth and other device settings. And this will take you to the Bluetooth settings. Now, the first thing we want to do is turn on Bluetooth. If you want to add a Bluetooth device, you just click on the plus sign and then you'll select from whichever category of device you are trying to add. It will then automatically search for any nearby devices and then you can go ahead and select it. And you can now see the device has connected and paired. So just so you are aware, in some situations when you're trying to connect a device, it may ask you for a PIN number or code, and that comes from the manufacturer of whichever device you're trying to connect or pair. And so you should be able to find that either in the user manual, online on the manufacturer's website, or you can also contact customer support to get that PIN number. But in a lot of situations, you will not have to worry about that. Now, if you run into any issues as far as pairing or connecting your devices via Bluetooth, a couple things you may want to try is restarting the computer as well as try turning the Bluetooth off and then turn it back on. And sometimes that can help. Other things you may want to do is go ahead and turn the Bluetooth back off and then go back here to the device manager and extend the Bluetooth option. And here it will list your specific hardware for your Bluetooth device. If you right click on it, I would recommend trying disabling the device and then re-enable it. If it's still not working after that, try to update the drivers and see if that can help as well. Additional settings you can check is if you type in services in the start menu, just go ahead and open up services and then look for where it says Bluetooth and just make sure that these are running. If they are not, just right click and you can click on restart or it may have a start option. And if that still doesn't help, you can try clicking on each one of these Bluetooth options. If you double click on them, change it from manual to automatic, and then restart your computer and try it again. If after doing all of those steps, if you're still having trouble with connecting your Bluetooth devices, it may actually be an issue on the devices side. And so you may want to contact customer support as far as the device you're trying to connect or pair, or it may be a problem with your Bluetooth in the computer or the Bluetooth dongle or adapter that you are using. That's everything for this video. I hope those steps help you as far as getting the Bluetooth turned on and connecting your devices. But if you do have any questions, just post them down in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.